Hello, I'm Dr. David Mackerith and I am a medical doctor. I trained in St. Andrews University in Scotland and Manchester University in England and graduated in 1988. I have worked for most of my working life as a middle grade in accident and emergency and I worked for many years uh, as such in Scotland, although I now live in England and am hovering around retirement. My reason for producing this video is to appeal to the doctors, my medical colleagues in Scotland, especially those who are in general practice. The Scottish Parliament has said that it wants GPs in Scotland to prescribe transgender cross-sex hormones to those who come to them seeking such medication. This opens a whole new door towards uh, promoting and uh, furthering transgender ideology. And the question must be, is this sound medical practice? We know that the Scottish Parliament has wanted to allow people to self-identify regarding their sex uh, in any way that they choose. So a man could call themselves a woman or a woman could call themselves a man. We know that we live in a time of gender fluidity when people are saying that there are not one, but if you're the BBC, for example, 150 different genders. Now, we are living in strange times. And my plea to you is this, that you don't prescribe such medications to people. The problem is this, that if we do this, we will bring in self-identification by the back door. And this will have very significant implications for society. We cannot tinker with what it means to be human and with what it means to be male and female in this way without significant implications. People who are confused, people who are told that they can change sex, people who are told that this is the answer to their depression or their difficulties or their problems or that this has been at the root cause of their problems all along are growing in number. Promises are made that this medication will solve the problem. Promises are made that this will uh, enable them to transition to a different sex and thereby these things which have been going on in their lives will no longer exist. Now I believe and I would recommend um, researching this that uh, this is not the case. However, the widespread indiscriminate use of transgender hormones has the ability to cause considerable harm, I believe, to our children and to our nation. And I'm appealing to doctors in Scotland not to go along with this. When we signed up for medicine, we signed up to help our patients. The first way we do this is by sound diagnosis and then by thorough and accurate treatment. In doing so, we are to follow the science. In doing so, we are to look at the evidence, weigh it up and follow the science. Now, this is sound medicine. But what we're being asked to do here, what GPs in Scotland are being asked to do here, is act as political tools of the state in order to pursue a political ideology, an ideology which I believe with all my heart is false. And doctors shouldn't be following political ideology. We shouldn't be tools of the state simply to give people what they want via the state or the state what it wants. We should be engaged in sound medicine. If we follow the science, we know that a person cannot change sex. I myself have a publicised legal case regarding my refusal to use transgender pronouns. Now, part of the reason for that is because I am a Christian but also just as much because I am a doctor, because I know that people cannot change sex. The science can never support the view that a person can change sex. So I'm calling upon my medical colleagues in Scotland to take a stand, to do what medicine should have done for a long time now, and to stand up and say quite emphatically, quite dogmatically, quite unequivocally, that a person cannot change sex that it is scientifically, philosophically and medically impossible. I'm calling on my colleagues not to prescribe these hormones. I'm calling upon them not to give in to pressure from the government. I'm calling upon them not to take money to do this. I'm calling upon them to stand up for sound and ethical medicine and to refuse to do such a thing. Now, as doctors, many of us love medicine. Many of us love practising medicine. But surely, surely our consciences cannot countenance this. It's time to draw a line. It's time to stand up. It's time to be honest. 
it's time to say what we know as a profession and haven't been saying, that a person cannot change sex and that we will never help people by indiscriminate distribution of these powerful and potentially life-changing medications. I hope that you will stand on this point. I hope that you will refuse to do what the government may require of you. And I hope that we will prove together that we are conscientious doctors, always working for the best and for the benefit of our patients first. Thank you for listening.